Hey there, thanks so much for stopping in on the video. Now, today we are talking about cleaning your water dispenser. Now, if you have never cleaned your water dispenser or you're not even sure how to do it correctly using natural ingredients, this is the video for you, so keep watching. So if you haven't cleaned your water dispenser in quite some time, it has been a little while since I've cleaned mine, I'm kind of embarrassed, this is what it looks like under there every time you put your cup there. That's that's pretty disgusting. So we are gonna get that cleaned out using very simple ingredients. Let's get started. All right, to start this video out, you're gonna need to gather a couple of things. We are gonna use simple things that you already have in your home, most likely. Um, so to start, you are gonna to need to gather some white vinegar. You're going to need um, a pipe cleaner, and you're going to need a toothbrush and a cut lemon. So now the first thing that you want to do is cut the power. Um, that way you're not getting water coming down the dispenser. So this is my style of refrigerator. I'm not sure of yours, but mine is just a simple um, touch control. So I am actually going to shut the power off. All right, so now the power is off and that way there's no water that's coming down on the dispenser as we start to clean it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start with a, a lemon. A lemon is actually gonna help with the calcium deposits that are on the dispenser. So I like to take like little wedges and then just start to really rub and um, get the lemon like right around the inside. Hopefully it's a good angle. Right around the inside to start to break up some of the deposits and especially right here on the dispenser. It's hard to see on my unit because it's clear, but trust me when I tell you that they're there. And then I like to just go in with a simple rag and then just wipe it right off. And I know it seems so simple, but trust me when I tell you the deposits actually just come right off. And it usually takes maybe a minute or two for the lemon to set and they, the calcium deposits and the mineral deposits just come right off. So just give it a good wipe with a clean rag or towel. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to step two. So the next thing that you are going to need is some vinegar. Please, <laughs> pardon my, my son's sippy cup here, but uh, we're gonna use some vinegar and an old toothbrush, and we're gonna actually take the vinegar and really sort of deep clean the dispenser itself. All right, so what you're gonna do with your vinegar and, and your toothbrush is you're gonna take your toothbrush and really just brush, right? Just brush all um, in your dispenser. If you can remove some of these parts, it's obviously easier. Um, with this model, I'm not able to take these pieces out, so I really just have to get in there with a the toothbrush. But you're gonna get in there and scrub and repeat as many times as necessary. So you're gonna take your pipe cleaner, and really give that a good scrub, especially around um, this tip here. This is like, um, it, this gets so unbelievably disgusting. So again, repeat a few times with the vinegar and the pipe cleaner to make sure that the spout is clean. Lastly, I like to come back in with a rag um, that is also soaked in vinegar and really just clean it out um, as much as possible. I like to get right down in here in the tray as well, going back through. Now, if you haven't flushed your line and cleaned your water dispenser line, this would be a good time to do that. Changing your filters, you should be doing that every six months. Um, your air filter, you should be doing that again every six months. Um, so just make sure when you're in this process that you just are doing the whole thing. You're changing your filters, cleaning your line, that way everything is nice and clean and you're done. So hopefully you can see how simple and easy it is to keep your water dispenser clean and moving forward. Now, I hope you share this video out with someone that needs to see it and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you never miss when I upload a new video each and every week. Take care.